So a dead simple little project today. All I'm doing is making a little bracket to hold this on the wall. My son is obsessed with planes. If he's not flying them on the computer, on simulators, he's building them. And he's just at that age where he's starting to get into radio control planes. I'm so, I mean, he's so excited. Check out what he got for Christmas. <gasps> Obviously, I'm not reliving my youth through my son. Right, so I've made this kind of rough sketch of what I'm thinking of making this kind of thing. Except I'll probably not have this top lip on it. I probably don't need that to be honest. So I'm just going to make it the same width all the way around. I've measured that it needs to be about 10 inches wide. There needs to be a three and a half inch inset. Don't ask why I've measured in inches. So I think what I'm going to do is chop this down on the table saw to take an edge off. I'll take the waist down. The top edge is quite good, so I'm going to take the bottom edge off to leave a nice edge. So I'm going to want that cut there. And then I'm also, I want this to be 10 inches wide. So 10 inch is there. So that means that this section is going to come off this section down here is going to come off so it's just going to leave this i'm cutting it on the table saw and chop so obviously you could just do this with a hand saw it's not exactly complicated but just for speed i'm doing it on the table saw Right, so I've test fitted it in the room with the plane and it fits perfectly on the first try. I'm genuinely amazed, completely not by design, very lucky. So I don't need to make any modifications to this. It works fine, it's really strong, it holds the plane absolutely great. I've driven everyone on Instagram insane as to what this is. I'm really sorry. <laughs> this is just a primer undercoat I'm using, just to kind of seal the wood. I was going to glue these endy bits on, but it doesn't need it, it's absolutely solid. Please remember, this is just primer. So my main task here is to get a good covering on, make sure there's no brush marks, and then I'll be giving it a top coat as well. I'll try not to film every single second of me painting something because it's the most boring thing in the world to watch. And it's a really, once you've built one of them, it's a really simple build for future ones. Plywood, by the way, because we've got the grain orientated that way and that way and that way and that way, this little thin section here 
is incredibly strong. More than enough for a, a very, very light model aeroplane. I dare say that could hold my weight on that front little bit. I'm not going to test it. Again, just laying it off really lightly with a brush just to remove any brush marks or runs and drips. Laying it off just means going over it very lightly afterwards to kind of sort any little problem areas out. Grand! Let that dry and then I'll pop it on the wall. And you can see it with a plane on it. Right, it's had a chance to dry overnight. The paint's all dry. It's just had the one coat of undercoat at the minute. I've already put some plugs in the wall. I'm not showing you how to do that. I've done a kajillion videos on stuff like that. These are excessively big screws for how light this aeroplane is, but it ain't gonna fall down, put it that way. There we go. I'm gonna give it one more quick coat of paint. I'm then gonna stick the protective foam strips on. I think I will put them on just to protect the wings of the aeroplane and then that's it all done and dusted. I'm gonna get that done now. I'm just using a, a Bathroom Plus kind of soft sheen paint for the final coat. It's a bit more hard wearing than your normal matte white paint. And I don't want a gloss white because nothing else in this room's gloss white. So I think this kind of soft sheen finish of the bathroom paint will be great. And it's also washable, nice and hard wearing. Will do the job perfect. There we go, all done and dusted. I'm just gonna pop tiny bit of glue on these screw heads before putting the screw caps on. Just a tiny drop, it's just the caps always fall off otherwise. And then, this is the uh, kind of padding tape I'm thinking of using. Funny stuff this tape, it's kind of, it almost feels like a, a memory foam type stuff, but it just gives it something nice and comfy to sit on. Let's give it a first test go. Everyone will think I'm a bit mental. Jobs are good. Hope you enjoyed that, just a little make re video there. Just these little brackets for me son. Doubtless you'll see this plane in some future videos coming up, I'm sure. Hopefully we'll get it flying. I very, very much doubt my son will give us a shot so I can see I'm gonna end up getting back into this as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye.